guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all amazing it's been a minute since my face has been on this camera so i do apologize but i've been trying to figure out a nice filming situation i think i'm going to move next door in the other room at the minute i'm in my bedroom but there's just not enough space now i'm growing out of it it's just there's not enough room for all the lights the cameras my table my little setup so that's kind of why i've not been on for like the last two or three weeks is because i have been trying to move into the other room but i'm here today with a nice quick video it's just a simple get ready with me full face of makeup a really nice sexy smoky eye that you can have for every day or that you can spice up um for a night out we've got a really fresh face which is what you want in winter everything's a bit dry at the moment so we have tried to keep the hydration there so if you'd like to see how i created this look then please keep watching make sure you subscribe i'm seeing all you lot that are watching and not subscribing i get the the tactic okay but you need to be subscribing otherwise I'm not going to be able to carry on doing what I love and I'm really going to be upset so please 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 subscribe, like, share, tell everybody about these videos because I'm here for everybody and yeah let's just jump straight into it. Okay so to start let's just pin this monstrosity fringe and hair back because I can't focus without this in my face it's just I need space to be able to see what I'm doing. So I've already moisturized my face, you know, prepped it, skincare. So we're just gonna jump straight in with the primer, which is the Elf Putty Primer. I talk about it all the time on my channel. It's the best. You're not gonna get a better primer. And it's just amazing. So you just take a little bit on your hands and then we're just gonna really work that in all over the face. I mainly focus on the main areas of my pores, so you know, your T-zone, and then just kind of pat. And then gonna go straight in and prime the lids, and I'm going in with the P. Louise base in Ruma 2. Again, I always use this on my channel, it's probably the best primer I've ever used for eyeshadow. So I only use a little bit, a little bit does go a long way with this product, you don't need a lot, and I tend to take it on like a flat base. Um, I just use my bronzer at the minute. I just find you can get a bit more accuracy with the brush when you put it onto a flat surface rather than squeezing you know from the tube to your brush and i'm just going to take a this is actually a unicorn cosmetics brush and it's just um like a circle angle brush it's not like a sharp angle brush and we're just going to paint that get the p louise base and just go all over the lid and prime them lids up for the eyeshadow I love this base. It's probably the only base that really doesn't move your makeup and it really enhances the colours that you then put on your on your lid and it's kind of the only base that I've found that doesn't smudge, that doesn't affect the colour and that actually goes on really nice. Like sometimes you can find with primers, um, if you've got dry eyes it really kind of cracks the eyelids or if you've got oily eyes the oil from your lids will start breaking down the colour and the pigment and then that's why you tend to lose the shadow. So once we have primed the lids I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this. So you only get four colours in it and they do a different range of palettes. So this is the truffles so 29923 and you get like a silvery gold glitter, a really nice orangey burnt brown a dark brown and a black these are absolutely amazing they're perfect for taking on whoops the perfect for taking on holiday because they're tiny enough to fit in your makeup bag you know sometimes when you've got a big palette yes you've got a big variety but they are an absolute nightmare on holiday you can take this in your bag when you're going out so you can top up your eyeshadow i absolutely love these definitely my favorites and the pigment in this is just next level it's really affordable as well so it's in everybody's budget so it's a win-win guys, it's a win-win. I'm just gonna take a little bit of sellotape as well and wing my eye off. For some reason, I just I just prefer the way it looks with sellotape. You don't have to do this, you can just carry on as normal and then use a concealer to wing it out, but I just think you get a nicer, sharper line when you use tape. Be very careful if you're doing this with your eye because your eye is a very sensitive area. If you don't feel confident enough, I wouldn't recommend doing this. So I'm just going to go in with a small fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. It's the M514. And then I'm going to take the really nice light brown here. 
and just work the ends and we're going to go about halfway. So I'm going to start at the end here in circular motions, keeping it nice and low and just work to about the middle area. We're going to keep it quite we're just going to use this as a nice transition colour to give us that really nice fox eye. So with this look it's always easier to use less shadow and blend than to really put the pigment on first and then trying to blend it out. It's easier to add than take away. That would be my advice on this one. And then we're just gonna use whatever was left on your brush and just follow the sellotape. Or if you've not got the sellotape, just create a line because you're gonna clean it up anyway. So it's gonna be that shape. So half, coming in slowly, like you would eyeliner, and out. So once you're kind of happy with how it's placed, the, the kind of darkness of the transition colour, I don't tend to go too dark with it because we are going to put a darker colour on top. Then take more of a small stipple brush. Um, so this is from Luxin, it's the Mini Round 141 brush. I really like this, it's like a stipple but it's very fluffy as well. And we're going to take that darker brown and we're going to do the outer corner again. The exact same shape, so halfway and flick out but we're going to go underneath that colour now so we're going to go even smaller and even less so we're going to work here you're definitely going to need to keep coming back in for this colour because you're going to be working with it quite a bit and then we're going to flick it out and don't worry we're going to, we're going to blend that don't worry like that and then I'm going to go back in with that very first brush and just blend that out and that's going to be the step the next step as well so we're going to go back in with the darker colour blend it out again because we don't want any harsh lines to create that really nice smoky eye and then blend So at the minute, should, everything should just be halfway and out, going darker as we go, go out. This bit here shouldn't be, have anything on. When you're kind of happy with that, again I don't do it too dark because I am going to go in with the black next. And I'm going to take a really small placement brush. So this is the Friara Pencil Brush E6A. It's a really small stipple brush and we're going to take the jet black. Make sure you tap it off. And now I'm going to create a fake wing again going over that dark brown um, as if we were doing a winged eyeliner. So keep it really nice and thin. And then I'm going to go in with the Freya Eyeshadow Brush in E67. It's like a smudging brush and we're going to smudge that black out. Cross the line of your lashes and out. Just really focusing on smudging that black out. Just make sure everything's nice and transitioned, nice and smooth. We've got no sort of harsh. And then I'm going to take that really nice light brown again and put it all over the lid but keeping it nice and low. Now I'm using a fluffy brush instead of a placement brush just to make it really nice and messy. That's the whole point of a, like a smoky eye to keep it quite messy. Okay, we're gonna carry on with the rest of the face and then I'm gonna come back and finish the eyes, so. Oh, going straight in with foundation. I'm going in the NARS Punjab. Taking a damp beauty blender. And we're just gonna work that into the face. I'm just going to roughly put it on and then I'll show you a secret little tip that I've learned. So before you blend out, we're going to spray the face with setting spray. This is a Revolution Hydrate Fix. And then spray the Beauty Blender. This is really going to make sure 
that the foundation stays, it's going to look flawless. And it's going to look amazing! Then I'm going to go in with concealer, this is the Maybelline Stun Eraser in Fair, which is 03. And we're just going to do down the side of the nose, like inner eye, and then where that winged liner was. So you don't want to be down the side of the nose, on the lip there, so you don't want to put concealer here, which is in the actual bag area of the eye because that is where you're going to get creasing and we don't want that we do not want that so we're going to gently with the same beauty blender blend out now you can blend under the eye and it's also going to give you that lift when you put concealer right under your eyelid it kind of drags the face down a bit we don't want to do that today we're, we're going for a wing so we want to lift so at this point if you've not used the sellotape this is when you then get um a stipple brush like what we put concealer on with and put the concealer on and, and erase it or you can use a wipe whatever you feel more comfortable with just to darken everything up i'm going in with the chanel bronzer i'm just going to take a big brush and we're just going to darken everything up because i have gone a little bit light with my foundation because i've got tan on and my foundation doesn't quite match my tan we're just going to darken everything up. Contour with, I'm going to go in with the MYX Matte Bronzer. And this is in the Deep Tan. So it is a really nice dark tan. And then I'm going to take a little stipple brush. This is the Real Cosmetics one. And you want to go from the top of your ear and about to where the end of your eye is. And it's circular motions. I'm then going to go in with the Lottie Cosmetics blush. This is in Haze. And I'm going to take more of a stipple brush. And I'm just going to pat that in to where the contour was. And then a little bit on the cheeks. Take the I Heart Revolution Banana Baking Powder. And we're going to bake underneath that contour. So I just take it on a wet beauty blender and just swish it upwards like that swish and then with any leftover products I'm just going to tap a little bit under my eyes just to make sure it's all set and we're going to get definitely no creasing and then I'm just going to take it out as well on the nose and a little bit on the forehead here. So while we're waking, while we're waking, while we are waking, no, while we're waiting for the baking, oh my god, I like that. While we're waiting for the baking, I'm then gonna go back in with the Giorgio Armani bronzer and the small stipple brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the forehead here to give a nice colouring. I do like to do my forehead a bit not as dark and intense. Just to make sure we've got a nice snatched in jaw. And then we're going to go straight in with the eyebrows. I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown. I've actually changed it, okay? I used to be in saddle. And now I'm in mahogany, which is more of a nice warm colour. I think at winter time we need that. So we're just going to brush off baking and make sure everything's nice and smooth. Don't want any harsh lines, no sorry. 
So to brighten underneath the brow, I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream Loose Eyeshadow in Pearl. Now this is really pigmented and it is really loose eyeshadow, so be careful. I don't know if you can see it from there. You don't even really need to pour any into the lid. You can just use whatever was already left in the lid because it is that pigmented, guys. And I'm going to go in with a stipple brush. This is the one from Morphe. Then you're just going to highlight underneath the brow. You can actually take it a little bit further down. And then I'm just going to do the inner corner of my eye. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Annabelle Minerals. And this is in Diamond Glow. I really like it feather brush and just dust that in I'm just going to take a stipple fluff brush and contour the nose so I like to start quite high and then come down so I literally go from the start of the brow and down and then under my lip so it's at this point that you can put lashes on if you want liner on. I don't tend to put liner on when I've kind of done this look. I don't think you need it. I have got individual lashes on. And I'm just going to take a really small brush again and go in with the darker. And then I'm just going to put mascara and then I'm going to blow my hair and then I'm going to come back to you guys and show you the finished look. So all I've done now is just blown my fringe, added some eyeliner to the lash line and then went in with a lip liner and lip gloss. The lip gloss is the Pillow Talk Plump It which is just a plain gloss and the lip liner is the Maybelline Colour Sensation in Velvet Beige which is 630 and that is it, that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you in the next video.